Hello everyone, welcome back to the number one trusted name in technology. You guys already know who the boy is. Today we are going to be talking about none other than the iPhone 11. You guys already guessed it, I talk about this phone all the time, versus a phone that I have not even compared it to yet, but I did compare another phone, a Google Pixel 4, against it. Well, quick comparison at least. And that phone is actually the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, what's super interesting about both of these phones is that they're actually around the same price in the used market, or in the brand new market, my bad. They're exactly the same price. You can pick up an iPhone 11 for $699, brand new, but you can also pick up a OnePlus 7 Pro for $699, brand new. Now, the thing you have to keep in mind though is that the OnePlus 7 Pro is a little bit older, and because of that, it has depreciated a little bit in the used market. So that's definitely a huge, huge thing for the OnePlus 7 Pro. And one thing to keep in mind is that iPhones tend to keep their values a lot better than the Android counterparts. So even if these got released the same time in the same year, same month, most probably the Android will depreciate more. So that's one thing to keep in mind. However, the OnePlus 7 Pro, in my opinion, brings so much to the table that it's an insane value per dollar, even brand new. Now, I very rarely you know, put that out there, but the OnePlus 7 Pro is crazy, in my opinion. Now, looking at the front, we have, you know, we kind of have a lot of differences, I'll be honest, even straight from the jump. A 6.1 inch liquid retina IPS panel on the iPhone 11, that is 828 by 1792 with 326 pixels per inch. And you have true tone display on it, you know, it's not a horrible display at all, but I've always said even from the iPhone XR, Apple could have done way better on it. And they kind of did with this panel, not really, it's about the same thing, but with the OnePlus 7 Pro, you have a 6.67 inch fluid AMOLED display. That one is 1440p by 3120 with 516 pixels per inch, which is insane. A very, very good panel. Now, I've said, you know, in terms of the resolution, in terms of the way it looks, I kind of think the Samsung Galaxy S10 looks better, but here is the thing you have to keep in mind. The OnePlus 7 Pro has a crazy unique feature on the front of it that is way better than not even a lot of phones have in the market right now, and that is the 90 hertz refresh rate on that screen. So when you're messing with it, when you're going through that display, animations will seem so much faster. It'll look like it's like so much smoother than even an Android or other like faster phone because of that refresh rate. Now there are some hits to it, you know, sometimes, you know, bad, sometimes it hinders performance, which I've never really even heard, but I've heard a couple of cases of that. But the biggest thing, it affects battery life, but I would rather probably give up some battery life to gain that feature. It is an insane thing. And that's a one really, really awesome thing with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now looking at both phones, you'll see that the iPhone 11 has the notch. The 7 Pro does not have any notch on it. And that's because of that motorized front camera that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. That is a humongous thing for the 7 Pro. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm like 50-50. I'm like, it's cool and all, but like also I would rather just have something that's physically there all the time. I've heard Samsung is working on the technology right now. I don't think know if iPhone, I don't know if Apple is going to be working on it all the time, if it's going to be released anytime soon, but for the time being, the iPhone 11 has the notch on it. So on the back, triple camera setup on the 7 Pro, dual camera setup on the iPhone 11, and I'll talk about the cameras in a minute, but that's pretty much the similarities. That's pretty much how they're looking on the outside. You have an inbuilt fingerprint sensor on the OnePlus 7 Pro as well, where you only have, you don't even have a fingerprint sensor on the iPhone 11. You only have Face ID. Is it a bad thing? Not really, but I feel like Apple could have done better on it, especially this year. They could have put a Touch ID in, in the screen or something. I don't know, but they could have done way better in my opinion. But in terms of the front, I do think the 7 Pro not only is the better screen, but the better built phone. Either way you look at it, it feels way more premium than the iPhone 11. I put the OnePlus 7 Pro probably on the league with like the Samsung Galaxy S10s or something. However, the iPhone 11 does have IP68 dust and water resistance, where the OnePlus 7 Pro does not have any IP certification at all. Now again, is it a horrible thing? Not really, but I felt like... You know, OnePlus could have done better, especially for that price tag, but whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. Now, moving on to the software, this is where things also get a little interesting because iOS is notorious for making their devices last longer, at least Apple is, you know, and that's a really cool thing. I love that. There's really nothing bad about that. This phone just got released with iOS 13. Right now, we're on iOS 13.1.3. It's going to get updated for many, many more years. I wouldn't even worry about it. But really the same thing for the 7 Pro. It started off with Android Pie. It's going to be getting Android Q. I think the auction OS builds have already been coming out. But this phone is probably going to get another version of auction OS. I don't know if it's going to go further than the next version it's getting. Not like Android 10, but Android 11. Maybe it'll get it. Maybe it won't. But here's the thing. For the time being, I do think auction OS is so good. Dude, it is literally the best software I think I've ever used on Android. I think, and I think it's even on par with iOS. So obviously, Apple ecosystem is way better. I use Apple products, you know. But I also love Android and Oxygen OS. In my opinion, I've seen a lot of people hate on me for this, but I think it's way better than stock Android. A lot of a 
lot of people hype up stock Android for literally no reason. It's very basic. Of course, there's like really cool features with it, but Oxygen OS is just like Cyanogen OS, what, what it was back in the day, which is now Lineage OS. But I love Cyanogen mod and I love Oxygen OS too. And I love OnePlus for still sticking to their roots and kind of promising those software updates. It's like stock Android with better features, but in terms of software support, the OnePlus 7 Pro will definitely not last as long as the iPhone 11 in stock software support but there's also custom roms you can get for the oneplus 7 pro as well so now moving on to the performance side of things you have the apple a13 bionic chip on the iphone 11 x core cpu with four gigabytes of ram with the oneplus 7 pro we have the qualcomm snapdragon 855 chipset an out core cpu and adreno 640 gpu but there's also three different models of the oneplus 7 pro so the 128 gb model has six gigs of ram the 256 GB model has 8 gigs of RAM, and you guys are going to call me, the 256 gig model has 12 GB of RAM. <laughs> and that's really cool. You know, you have a lot of options there. Obviously, if you move up in the value, you know, of the storage and the RAM, it goes up in the value of the price. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. But sticking at that base, you know, 6 GB of RAM on the OnePlus 7 Pro versus the 4 GB of RAM on the iPhone 11, I can definitely tell you without a doubt, I like both of these phones. I love both of these phones, but I think, I don't know. The performance is definitely better for now on the OnePlus 7 Pro. The performance is still very, very good on the iPhone 11. I think it's neck and neck. I don't find one phone being like way faster than the other. When I was using it, the OnePlus 7 Pro kind of gives the illusion that it is faster because of that 90 hertz refresh rate. That really kind of adds to the experience in my opinion. But the biggest thing you have to keep in mind is that the iPhone 11, it's stuck on iOS. It's going to be on iOS forever. And from my experience, older Android devices, even on stock Android, tend to slow down faster faster than older iOS devices. That's coming from a person who uses a ton of iPhones and a ton of Androids. I use a lot of older ones as well. And that's one thing that I've been noticing more and more the, as time progresses. So even though for now, maybe the 7 Pro is faster, it's very marginal amount. I do feel like the iPhone 11 will probably end up being the faster device over time, or at least the more consistent and smooth device over time. It's hard to say now because, you know, we're so early into the process, but they're both, they're both very, very good performing devices without a doubt. Now, moving on to the camera sensors. This is where things also could probably stay the same. I gotta, I gotta figure out a better transition between these things. We have a 48 megapixel wide angle lens, the 7 Pro, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Whereas on the iPhone 11, we have two 12 megapixel sensors, a wide angle lens and an ultra wide angle lens and what i'll tell you is in terms of the you know quality i think i don't know they're like almost the same i don't really notice that big of a difference between them i feel like the 7 pro kind of has more features in the camera but i kind of meme that to death now you guys kind of clown on me for saying that all the time but you have a lot of the similar features you know 4k 60 frames per second you have some you know overlapping features on both the ultra wide sensor on the OnePlus 7 pro apparently doesn't have optical image stabilization which neither does the iphone 11 so they share that in common but like I said, I'm not like a huge like photographer. I don't really care about the quality that much. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. And both of these shoot very good photos and very good videos. I will say maybe the iPhone 11 has the advantage in terms of the videos and the audio quality. But without a doubt, I'll definitely tell you both cameras are very, very good. On the OnePlus 7 Pro though, we do have that motorized 16 megapixel camera, which is so bougie in my opinion. It's so like unnecessary. <laughs> The iPhone 11 has 12 megapixel front facing camera. Cool thing about the iPhone 11 is that it can shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second on that front facing camera. The OnePlus 7 Pro, even though it's a super bougie camera on the front, you cannot do 4K at 60 frames, which is kind of sad. But again, you know, you got to flex that. You have that flex factor with the OnePlus 7 Pro. So both cameras are very good on both devices, but maybe the 7 Pro is better here. The iPhone 11 is better there. Not a big deal though. Now moving on to the battery life. Okay, I'll tell you the specs and I'll tell you the real world use. The OnePlus 7 Pro has a 4,000 mAh battery. The One iPhone 11 <laughs> has a 3,110 mAh battery. And like I've stated before, maybe there's a bigger advantage between one phone or the other, but I think battery life is kind of the same on both. But apparently, the OnePlus 7 Pro does not have any wireless charging, which is so weird. How are you going to even expect to call a phone a Pro if you can't even wirelessly charge a phone? The iPhone 11 has that feature. And you know what, honestly, even if one phone was better than the other, in terms of battery life, let's say the 7 Pro is better, I would probably still default to the iPhone 11 because of that wireless charging. When you're talking about battery, I think you also have to factor in the battery features now as well. Wireless charging should just be a given now, it should just be, you know, into a phone. However, at the same time, we now have a reverse wireless charging, which, you know, you have to input that into the battery life, you know, the input of that, and that being a good thing, even though it sucks battery life out, it's definitely a battery feature. So the iPhone 11, I think, wins in terms of the battery. And to kind of sum up this whole entire thing, what I'll tell you is, 
Without a doubt, I think the 7 Pro is the more feature-packed phone. You're getting that inbuilt fingerprint sensor in the screen. You're getting that almost bezel-less design with the motorized camera, which is really, really cool and bougie if you want to. I've, dude, I've said bougie so much since I learned that word, I gotta stop. I feel like you're getting the better build quality. I like Auction OS, but I don't really care. I mean, it's whatever. You're getting that 90 hertz refresh rate, which is awesome. But with the iPhone 11, you're getting that iOS support, which is going to last you a long time. Wireless charging, which should just be a given now, like I said. 4K 60 frames on that front-facing camera. The iOS support for a very long time, I think I already said that. But the software will definitely outlast the OnePlus 7 Pro. So what I'll tell you is, is that you can't go wrong with either of these phones, like I've stated. But at the same time, I would probably say if I had to pick one up, I would go with the OnePlus 7 Pro. It is a way more feature-packed phone. The iPhone 11 might be better here and there, but I do feel like the 7 Pro is a better value per dollar, especially when you get a used one. You can probably pick them up around like five, probably less than 500 at this point, surprisingly. So I'd probably recommend you, dude, if you're in the market, go pick up a OnePlus 7 Pro. The iPhone 11, still a tremendous device, still has a lot going for it. But as of right now, I would probably pick up a 7 Pro over an iPhone 11. So that pr that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.